failure, f false assumptions, or why user awareness fails. Um, so yet another day, yet another Drydex campaign. So we spotted a Drydex campaign. So in emails were delivered to the final recipients. So as a SOC, we just wanted all recipients telling them, do not open emails. Those emails is certainly do not open the attachments within those emails. And but if you did, please give us a call. Okay, so this is kind of like you know incident response one on one. You spot something, you just send another email to the huge list of emails and don't open this email. Okay, so guess what? Yep, we got a call. So a user opened the invoice, right? <laughs> And the user activated the macro, but could not see the expected invoice. So the user contacted the sender, requesting the correct invoice. However, the sender address did not work, because it was spoofed. So, okay. Hello, cert. I'm glad you warned me, but so basically, the user contacted us, said, okay, yeah, I opened the email, I, you know, I opened the attachment, even I've, I've seen your email, of course. But basically, for me, I have to process this invoice, right? So, and she requested gently from us that we contact the sender, because the address was not working, and to send the correct invoice, because they have seemed to, you know, uh, send some, something that was incorrect. Okay, so we had like kind of probably a compromised machine and we were discussing with this user. It's like, okay, so we're trying to understand why. It's like we just like kind of, you know, in the sock we're sitting, we're laughing. Ha, 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 well, dumb users, really. So you send them an email, warn them not to open, not to click, etc. They still open, click, contact the sender, do not get an answer and request the correct invoice. But then after like a good life, we just sit back and like, it's like, okay, so there is a problem here. So... I went to discuss with the user. So the user works in the procurement department. And basically, their job is to open attachment all day long from complete strangers. So the procurement department receive invoices, you know, like emails with attachments. They have to open the attachments, look up the purchase order number within the attachment, verify it against the internal system to check if it's a correct purchase order number, and then start the workflow. If there is no percentage order number in there, so either it's like a wrong invoice, incorrect invoice, etc. So they click on everything, like open the attachment or you know, click on the macro, whatsoever. They just need, you know, this freaking purchase order number. So and this is indeed this is the only way they could check that it's some something valid. So basically we were trying to continuously tune the human IDS. And we spend money and time over and over trying to get users to think before they click or open. However, we don't think about fixing our processes like we have not, never gone to the procurement department asking them how to do their business. And basically, okay, and advise them, no, no, you should not like, you know, over rely on email and do your, all your procurement stuff, you know, using email. Maybe you should, you know, uh, do a web app where basically, uh, your suppliers and vendors would just upload the attachment there where they can be scanned or whatsoever, et cetera. And then maybe you can have some OCR technology whatsoever, even like a, a web form where you can just, you know, type in the purchase order number so you can start your workflow automatically. And also, uh, we don't think about some very interesting side effects. The cookie law. So here you have like three French newspaper, one very famous uh, uh, gear brand, and I think also the Washington Post. So basically using some dark patterns there. So when you open like, okay, Lizico, we respect your privacy. So, okay, so don't think, click on the red button. Uh, there like West France, this is from Patrice, I think. Uh, so uh, yeah, I accept, it, uh, I accept it all. And if you look at the brand, like cookie consent, you just have like this agreeing proceed, you, okay. So basically what you end up, on one hand, we train users to think before clicking and opening. Okay, so user awareness all the time. 
And on the other hand, we train users to click without thinking and to get rid of those annoying veneers, right? So, I mean, as an end user, what should I think? So on one hand, I have to think before I click. On the other hand, I just want to read or do my business, etc. Just like I have to click, 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 get you know that stuff away. Uh, and also, I've read this uh, like stuff from Naked Security like uh, two weeks ago. Most Americans don't have a clue what HTTPS means, and they should not care. I mean, like we should you know use something that's basically like for example. Well, I don't have a driver license, but if I had, and if I thought about like you know buying a, a car, I wouldn't care what's like EBS is. I don't. I just want to you know break system and that's it. I don't want to think about like oh you have to activate your AB, ABS and check that ABS is working before you get you know uh, in your car. So that's basically it. Thank you.